Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Auntie. Uh, it's gonna be awkward. I've never done this before. Um, I'm filming my transition from moving from South Africa to Cambodia and there's seven days left. So this is my intro vlog for me moving to overseas. I'm gonna vlog uh, for about a few days and I'm gonna show you how it goes from here to there, what you need. So basically I have checked into my guest house yesterday uh, for the next seven days as I had to give my apartment up um, where I stayed. I'm in the process of being selling my car, but at least I've got my car until tomorrow still, so most likely. And then, yeah, it's gonna be sold. So I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna go and um, do some photos because apparently I need photos for uh, my uh, a, a visa on arrival at Cambodia airport. So otherwise they charge you a $2 penalty fee. Um, and I don't want to pay any penalties. So I'd rather uh, abide by their laws and everything. I'm moving to their country, not my country, their country. And South Africa will always stay a part of me, but I'm excited. I really want to get out of here. Um, it's quite a different experience. Um, all of this physically started in this end of December when a friend told me that they are going to Cambodia to go and teach and all that. And I found it interesting. And then he said to me, why don't I come with and all those things. And I was like, okay, well, let me look into this. And at the same time, I spoke to a psychic and I didn't tell the psychic where I was going or anything. And I was going to have a live reading with her when she came in January of this year um, to Joburg, where I stay so that I could have, um, could get an in-person reading with her. And then in that reading, she said to me that I'm going to Cambodia and I'm going to be teaching English to the kids on that side. And she also sees me signing a contract in Thailand and all of that. So I didn't tell her anything. And she physically said to me, that's what I'm going to do. So then I resigned, paid the agency fees that I'm going through an agency, bought my pl plane ticket. I'm going to pay for my accommodation when I get on that side. So yeah, I mean, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Well, I'm going to take you on my day. I'm going to have to take some photos today. So like I mentioned, I'm going to drive quickly to a photo place here in Kempton Park. I'm going to take my little uh, passport photos. I'm going to have a few extra, but at least I'll have one for the visa and most likely I'll need it for the other visas when I get my work visa and all of that. So yeah, in any case, you'll see me the next time you'll see me is when I'm at the photo shop. Okay, so I just came back from Photogenics in Glen, Glen Marais, which is in Kempton Park. They took two photos. I paid 45 bucks for it. This is literally my little photos for my visa when I get that side. And yeah. I mean, it was quick service. It was like 45 bucks and you can choose between four and two. And I chose two because I don't need too many of them. I mean, what am I going to do with it? Look at myself the whole time. <laughs> okay. I do look like, like looking at myself, but not that much. So yeah. And then I just wanted to show you a little picture that I just found in my car that I need to take with me. My dad made it. I was in grade one in this picture. My dad made it when, while he was in prison. Um, he made a frame with the photo in it and everything um for me so that when i grow up i would have something of his i mean my dad was really old when he died he died uh, two weeks before he was supposed to be released from prison so yeah here's the little photo i mean he made this out of little matchsticks and everything and yeah that's me when i was in grade one with no teeth <laughs> at least they grew back can you see <laughs> So yeah, I mean, and then yeah, so I'm gonna show you the guest house also a little bit later on I'll go show you the garden show you the pools and the kitchen oh, that kitchen the restaurant and everything. So yeah Enjoy your day So yeah, it's just a little tour of the airport um, Bed and breakfast and guest house here in Rhodesfield Kimson Park. So yeah, enjoy it with a nice little tune as well. Thank you
So if you, as you walk in, you'll get a little coffee station. Excuse this, this is from my car, so I had to remove that. And then there's a little kettle with DSTV TV. And then there's like a little chair you can sit here. You can make yourself some coffee or tea. There's a cupboard that you can put your clothes in. And then you've got a safe to put your valuables in. That's just my little station of my medication and my juices that I'm gonna drink while I'm here. And then here's a little bathroom tray. You get a nice, a very nice full length mirror where you can look at yourself before you go out. And then you've got like a little hand towel, basin. Again, a small mirror to look at you when you're while you're brushing your teeth and washing your face. You've got the toilet, you've got the toilet paper, and you've got a nice little shower that you can use. There's a little table where the ladies can do their makeup or you can put your laptop and work there. And there's two beds. There's obviously my luggage. Nice little food, art. So yeah, there's like a little heater as well when it's winter and it's cold and you need the room to be hot. So yeah.